Hi guys. So last class we discussed about the code where we are able to display the to do's. We are able to, you know, show the default to do's. Now we will move to add a to do. And to add a to do, we will need to first add a button. And in this button, we will add the on click and get a function called add to do. We will add this function in a short while. Next thing, let's add the function add to do. Next thing after this is we need to now write code which will be adding a new to do to the to do's state variable. For this, first let us try to know how can we get the current to do value. The current to do value is a single to do because it is connected to these forms, which is input type equal to text one and the select box. So we know that currently entered to do is single to do state variable. So the next thing is very simple. We will first create a new array from to do's and add the new to do, which is a single to do. So first we will create a new array, new to do's, copy all the previous values dot 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 to do's. Next thing, yeah, next thing, we need to add a new to do value and we can add the new to do value by just writing here single to do, which is the new to do value, which is entered by the user. Next thing is just call the set to do's and pass the new to do's value, which will add the new to do to the to do's. Save it and let us try to run this piece of code. So I do see there is a small error. What is the error? Add to do is not defined. So we did define add to do. I think I might have not saved it. So let me just try to see it again and yes. Now let me try to add the new to do, which is make breakfast. And I will add is at incomplete. Click on the add and the item is added. I can add one more item, go for running and let it be complete this time, add. And we can see the status is getting reflected properly and the name is also getting reflected properly. One thing we are observing in this application is that after adding the to-do, we need to clear the to-do. So how do we do that? Well, to do that, after adding the to-do, we need to make the single to-do as empty. So let's try to see how we can do that. So we know that whatever value we give it to the single to do, it will be reflected in the input boxes because they are connected. So let's try to now do something like this single to do equal to. So in this case also, one thing we have to remember that it is a state variable, which means we cannot directly modify it. We need the function to modify it. So we'll come here as set single to do function. And inside this, we will pass an empty object, which means remove both the values. Or we could do even something better. We can just write name and give it an empty value. This should be better. Status and give it an empty value. I think this should be the recommended approach. Now, after this, let us again try to add one more to do, which is maybe this time finish project work 
and let it be incomplete this time. Let us add this item and wow, it is adding the item and after that it is clearing the value. So it's obvious that you know uh, the name and the status is cleared, but here we only have two options in the select box. So you know it will have to show some option and which is perfect. Next thing, we can also remove this top value, which represents the value we have entered in the form. This was just to verify that the values are properly connected to the form. So we can remove this value from the top. And our to-do application is working fine now. All right, that's it. So, now we are able to add a to-do item. Let's try to now code this particular feature. And after that, we will move to the next functionality. Yes. All right, guys. So now we will move to the next functionality where we want to delete the to-dos. I will also show you with a simple diagram so that we are able to understand what we need to do. So first thing first, let us add a delete button. We can add exactly, you know, next to the value where we are displaying our to do. So I will write button here and on click equal to let's use a function called delete to do, which we will use to delete the to do. And here I'm going to add the delete text. Save it and let us try to see the output. And we can see, okay, there is a small error, delete to do not define. Of course, I need to define the delete to do function. So let's quickly write delete to do function. So my function is also defined now, and I can see that the delete uh, you know, button should appear. So let me just see what is the problem. I think it should work, uh, delete to do not define. I believe I might have not, you know, saved it so let me just save it okay and now i should see the delete button correct the delete button is appearing fine next to the to do's now let us try to understand how this delete functionality is going to work so this is my delete function here which you see so now to delete a to do what do we need we need first to send the index of the array. Let me again tell you what I'm trying to say. If I want to delete an item, then on clicking of the delete button, I will also have to send the index. What is the index? Well, index means the index of the array. So this is zero for this person, this item, one for this item, and two for this item, right? Zero, one, two. So this index also needs to be sent to this function. That is the step one. So the index will need to be sent to this function. And this function will, will then remove that particular index item from the to do that. So for example, if I'm sending zero here in this case, then I will have to remove the index from the to-dos with a value zero, which is the first one. To do that, we will repeat the same step, which is going to be to create a new to-dos and remove the index with the value zero, which is sent from here, from this button. So this is what we are going to do now. And it is very simple. So let us try to go ahead with the code. So first thing, I'm going to just pass a index to delete value to this function, which should be sent by this delete to do. But there is a small problem. The problem is that we need to provide a name of a function. We cannot call a function directly like this. React will not work properly in this case, because this is equivalent to calling the function when the component loads. So in short, this will not work. We cannot call a function. 
we can only provide a function to the on click handler so what do we do then well there is a small work around which is if i cannot call the delete to do function then i can create a function arrow function if you are not aware about arrow function you can read about them this is an arrow function and to this arrow function sorry sorry now this is my arrow function and inside the body of the arrow function i am going to call the delete to do and now i can pass any value to this function so now react is again getting this whole function all right i am now providing this whole function to react that is a thing and inside this function body i am calling the delete to do which is having access to the index of this particular to do item whichever it is being displayed here so i'm just going to pass this index here and save it and let me go back to my delete to do function and i will just try to alert to verify if the index is getting passed properly save it with an alert and let us now try to look at the output so i believe uh, let me just save it small error might have happened module build failed so okay i think somewhere i've done a small silly error let me just check it probably here yeah probably here i might have done so we are passing delete to do and this is this function then the outside is okay so this parenthesis is not needed that is the error correct let us now get back and try to click on the first item and if it is working fine then the function will receive the index of the first item if we click on the second it will receive the index of the second item and then we can proceed with the next code click on delete it's sending zero click on delete it is sending one which is fine i can add one more item make breakfast again and make it incomplete add and let me try to send this value and it is giving index of 2 which is right so now we have this feature let us try to work on the next functionality so again we already discussed that all the state variables are immutable so we have to create a new to do array this time <clears throat> and what we will do this time is we will use the filter function you can read about filter function from the internet meanwhile let me just show you how we can do this to do's dot filter and inside that i can provide a function and i can also use an arrow function so we can provide an arrow function and yes now this function will run for every value of the to do's and it will have a value and index and then we will apply a very simple logic and the logic is that if the index that is present here becomes equal to the index to delete which is the index of the value that we are passing then we will return false which means we have found item and we will remove it for all the other items we will return true that's it my new to do's now will have that particular item with the index to delete removed next thing just call the set to do's again and pass the new to do's that's all guys we need to do to get the functionality running now again let us see the output here click on the delete and it is removing let's remove the last item it is removing it let me clear all and maybe add you know some more item go for running go for gym and this time i can again delete everything is working fine including the delete and the addition so you see guys it is so simple to create a delete functionality all we need to do is we need to just create a new to do array which has the particular value removed and after that we set the to do's and our functionality works perfectly fine now with this functionality you also write this piece of code guys and try to see if you are able to make it work